What's up guys, this is Matt and up for review today is the AMD FX 6350 with Wraith Cooler and I'm actually giving this CPU and cooler away because of reaching 25,000 subscribers recently so look in the description or wait till the end of the video to find out how to win it. So with Zen right around the corner, is this mid-level AMD CPU worth your money or does its current price of $135 on Newegg make it a bad value? I hope that at the end of this video I'll have answered all of those questions for you as well as told you exactly who this CPU is for. So let's start out with the basics. What is the AMD FX6350? Well, it's a 6-core CPU based on AMD's Vishera architecture with a base clock of 3.9GHz and a turbo of 4.2GHz out of the box. This CPU is unlocked and can be overclocked even using the included Wraith cooler. The CPU is rated as having a 125W TDP and is based on a 32 nanometer manufacturing process. The CPU fits into AM3 Plus motherboards. The one I'm pairing it with here is the MSI 970A G43 Plus. This is an entry level ATX board that like all AM3 Plus boards supports DDR3 RAM. Though the CPU does have 6 physical cores, they don't work exactly like cores from its competitor Intel. If you want to learn more about this, I'll leave a link to a really good video on this subject by Salazar Studio in the description down below. So let's talk about raw performance. With a Cinebench score of around 470, this puts it squarely between the i3-6100 and i5-6400 in both performance and price, while also including the Wraith cooler, which is objectively much better than the stock Intel cooler. So pairing the CPU with a GTX 950, I was able to get these results. <music> So as you can see, in modern games with a budget card like the GTX 950 or RX 460 the CPU performs really well, but even so I have a very hard time recommending the CPU and here's why. Upgrade path. If you purchase an FX6350 you're stuck on an aging platform that only supports DDR3, not the newer faster standard DDR4, and the only upgrade available for the CPU is to an 8 core FX chip which can't even compete with Intel's higher end i5 chips. This means that pairing anything above an RX 480 or GTX 1060 with this architecture doesn't make much sense at all. Whereas picking up an i3-6100 could allow you an upgrade path all the way up to an i7-6700K, which is the undisputed best CPU for gaming currently on the market. It would also allow you to use DDR4 and a few other more modern PC features. So who should pick up this CPU? Well I think if you already have an AM3 Plus motherboard or came across one for extremely cheap or free, then the CPU would be good for you. If you have an FX 4 core chip, I would probably just recommend skipping the 6 core variants altogether and move up to an FX 8 core for maximum performance for not that much more than the 6350. But if you're building a new PC from scratch, then it makes it very hard to recommend this CPU unless you're just a big fan of AMD or really want that Wraith cooler. Another good reason to use the CPU is if you've won it for free, which you have a chance to do by following the link down below in the description to Gleam.io. Once there, you'll see there are three ways to gain entries. You get two entries for just being subscribed to the channel, one entry for following me on Twitter, and one entry for following me on SoundCloud. This giveaway is going to last for two weeks, which gives you guys plenty of time to enter. So yeah guys, this wraps this video up. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.